to imagine uh, if you have something like a hammer, okay? If I have a hammer and then I rest it on its side, okay, have a hammer and have it resting sideways like this, and then I want to uh, hold my hand under it to balance so that both sides are equally, um, have equal weight. And do I put my hand right in the middle of the hammer? I'm just going to draw this out so, so that you can, you can see what I mean, okay? I'm going to ask you this question. So I have a hammer and I'm going to put it on its side like that, okay? So this is a hammer and I've put it on its side and then I want to put my hand under it, okay, so that it's balanced on both sides. Do I put my hand right down the middle of, of the hammer? Do I put my hand like this underneath, um, under the hammer? Or where do I put my hand? Who wants to uh, raise their hand and tell me? Ray. Um, you put it on the heavy side. You put it under the heavier side, okay? So you put it, your hand probably closer to here, right? You put your hand under here and, uh, and hold it closer to the heavy side. That's excellent, Ray. That is really, really interesting because when you, when you think about balancing something, you would normally think about putting uh, your hand or holding something, if you want to balance something, right in the middle of it, right? So, for example, if I have a beam like this, beam like this, and I wanted to have be balanced completely on both sides, I put my hand, whoops, uh, I put my finger pretty much directly in the middle, right? I put my finger directly uh, in the middle uh, because that is. Um, that is uh, going to be the, the, the balancing point, okay? But for a hammer, it's different. Why do you think we have to put our hand closer to the heavy part? Um, uh, anyone, anyone wants to, uh, want to have a guess why we would need to put our hand closer to the heavy part uh, when we are balancing the hammer? Not sure? It is a special, special word called center of mass. Okay, so let's have a look at it. So it's a special word called center of mass. Okay, center of mass. What is the center of mass of something? The center of mass of any kind of object is the point at which you can balance that object. Okay, and for a hammer, it's much closer to the heavy part, which is the head of the hammer. If you try to balance uh, your hand on the hammer on the lighter side, then the hammer would just fall over because the center of mass for a hammer is right over here, okay? This is where the center of mass is, okay? This is the center of mass for a hammer. So that's going pretty good, okay? So the center of mass, for a hammer is much closer to this heavy side, okay? And there are lots of really important things um, uh, to realize when it comes to the center of mass of something. For example, when you have a center of mass that is really close to the ground, uh, it's very hard to push something over, okay? Let me draw you another picture. So if you imagine that we have uh, the ground here, okay, we have the ground, and then I'm looking at the front view of a car, okay, Oops. the front view of a car. We've got the wind, wheel, windows, and uh, here we go, we've got the wind, windshield wiper. Okay, we got the front of this car. Uh, it's quite low to the ground, right? And next to it, we have a double-decker bus. Okay, so we have a double-decker bus that is really, really tall, okay? When these two cars, well, this car and this bus, when they're going around a the corner, um, 
who's more likely to fall over? Who do you think is more likely to fall over? Anyone who put their hand up and have a guess? Which, which they, would the car be more likely to fall over? Would the bus be more likely to fall over? Uh, Ryan. The bus. The bus. Why do you think the bus is more likely to fall over? Because it's taller than the car. It's taller than the car. But most importantly, that's excellent there, right? Most importantly, the reason that the bus is more likely to fall over is because of the center of mass. The center of mass is higher on a bus, especially a tall bus. Okay? So especially trucks and buses that are really, really tall, they are much more dangerous going around corners because they can potentially fall over. But in order for us to stop that from happening is we need to lower the center of mass, okay? So if you have a look at it, um, have a, have a look, closer look at our, at our bus and our car, the car's center of mass is probably uh, somewhere around here, okay? The center of mass of the car is something around here. And for the bus, it's a little bit higher. It's probably some, somewhere like here. But if you make the bottom of the bus really, really heavy, and the top of the bus really, really light, then it is much less likely to fall over. So we will try to make all the weight go down to this part of the bus, okay? To make all the heavy parts of the bus be really, really low on the bus. That way, when we are going around corners, it is a lot less likely to fall over. I want you to build a bus, but it has to be a tall bus, okay? With the pieces in your kit, and I want you to use as many pieces as you can in the next 15 minutes. Build the bus as tall as you can. Not just long, I don't want a long bus, I want a tall bus. But the most important thing is I want you to add this piece, okay? This black piece must be on your bus. And then at the end, I'm going to ask everyone, where did you put this black piece and why? Okay, so spend about 15 minutes now building your bus and make sure that you put this black piece inside. I'm going to be building the bus too, okay? If you have a question, raise your hand. So I'm going to start building a bus as well. doesn't have to be long, it just has to be really tall, okay? And it's the point of the exercise is we need a tall bus. And you don't have to copy my bus. It can be any kind of bus you want. You can build it however you like. Three minutes. If you have a question, you let me know. I'm gonna get started with maybe the base of the bus. This idea of the bus is it has to be really tall. So make the bottom not too long so that we can spend more time building a really tall bus.
That's everyone's bus going. I'm going to put some wings on my bus as well, make it look really cool. Going another 10 more minutes of building, okay? Another 10 more minutes.
This is my bus going along. You have more Lego figures, then you can put more different Lego people inside your bus as well. So you have few more people in the bus. A bit wobbly for me. Everyone's bus going. Raise your hand if you have a problem, okay? But feel free to build your own bus. Make sure it's as high as you can make it. That one's not super high, but maybe you can make yours even higher. This is going to be my little um, bus. Like I said, yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It could look anything. Uh, it could be very different if you want. Okay, so how is everyone going with their bus so far? So let me show you just my bus for a little bit. And you guys can keep on building your buses if you like, okay? So here I have a bus uh, with four wheels. So each wheel is using the white uh, connectors to connect the wheels together. And then I'm using a bunch of beams to layer on top of each other to become the side of the bus. And then uh, down the bottom of the bus, I keep it really, really dense. So, uh, and when I have it dense like this, it means that it gets, it's going to be very, very heavy down underneath. Because remember, when we talked about uh, the designing a bus, we need to make sure that the bottom of it is really, really heavy and the top of it is really, really light. So we want to make sure that the top of your bus is going to be very, very light compared to the bottom of your bus. So when it comes to putting this black brick in, I want you to, have a go of doing it like this, okay? You can put your black brick right on the top of the bus, like this, and then you can try to tip it over and you'll find that it's going to be very easy to tip over. See that? Does that make sense? If I put my black brick right at the top of the bus, it's put my center of mass all the way up closer to the top because it's much heavier at the top, just like a hammer. Remember the hammer, the center of mass is close to where the heavy part of the hammer is. 
And with a bus, it is the same thing. If we put the heavy stuff on the top of the bus, then it's going to be really unbalanced and it's going to be really easy to push over and fall over like this, okay? So that is why when you are putting your bus together, you should put your heavy brick towards the bottom of your bus, okay? And try to slide it in somewhere where, um, uh, where it's going to be as low to the ground as possible. So for example, for me, I can put it down here. Okay? And if you put it down inside under the, uh, into the bottom of the bus, it's a lot harder to push over. Okay? And uh, of course, it still falls over, but it's much e harder to fall over than if I had put the brick on top of the bus like this. Okay? Uh, if I put the brick on top of the bus, it's going to be very easy to fall over. That makes sense? So make sure that when you are designing your bus to put your black brick close to the middle and close to the bottom of your bus. That way it keeps it a lot more stable and it can go around corners better. Ray, have you got a question? Um, not a question. I'm actually, since uh, I haven't gone really high now, I have decided uh, that uh, because uh, the, uh, uh, the mini figures were only be one level, which means I have changed my mind and used like uh, the connector bricks to make people uh, so that they look smaller and it looks more like two levels. Yeah, that's a great idea, uh, right? So uh, that's a good use of connectors as well. Have you um, uh, put in your black brick as well? Did you put it close to the bottom of your bus, as close to the bottom as possible? Yes. Yeah, very good. And did you see the difference, how it's much harder to push over now compared to if you yeah. put it on the top? Very good. So remember the key word from today is center of mass, okay? Because that is uh, the most important thing to realize uh, for this lesson is that we are learning about center of mass and how to make things more, uh, more stable by putting the weight towards the bottom, okay? So as close to the ground as possible. Well done. All right, fantastic guys. So uh, that is the end of our lesson today. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask mom and dad to send me an email or give me a call, okay? Uh, my name is Gary. I'll talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.